Hi friends, welcome to our channel Travel Junkie. So, continuing our journey of Rameshwaram, today we will be taking you to Dhanushkori in Rameshwaram. We are on our way to Dhanushkori. We got to know that it is the best time to visit this place is early morning hours. So, we are here in the morning time around 7 am. It is around 20 kilometers drive from Ramanatha Swami temple. Our hotel was near to the temple of which we have already uploaded the video. The link to the hotel video is provided in the description section. Before proceeding further friends, if you are new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our video. It is your support and likes which encourages us to post more videos. So, just to let you know guys, this is our first video to this channel. So, thanks viewers for your support. Now, moving forward, we have some facts about Dhanushkori. Dhanushkori is an abandoned town in southeastern tip of Pamban Island. This town was destroyed during 1964 Rameshram cyclone and is un inhabited since then. So it was declared as a ghost town and unfit for living. Now some mythology. As per Hindu mythology, Dhanushwari is the place where building of Ram Setu was started. Dhanushwari is the most nearest place in India to Sri Lanka with a distance of about 25 to 30 kilometers only. Before 1964, there were ferry services from here to Sri Lanka. Until 2016, this place could either be reached by foot or jeeps. But after this, the road was constructed here in 2016 only. And this place is made easily accessible by road. Here you can check the Ram Setu and Sri Lanka border using the telescope facilities installed by local lights and they charge somewhere around 50 to 100 rupees. Friends, Ram Setu is submerged but parts of the bridge have been become the islands so those islands can be visible by telescope. Now let's go down and check out the beach. You can see here there is water on both sides of the land. Actually, the Bay of Bengal merges with the Indian Ocean here. So you can see the two different colors of water here. One from Bay of Bengal and another from Indian Ocean. A fun fact for you viewers. Do you know there is the one ocean in the world which is named after a country? Yes, that is Indian Ocean. Another fact, friends, the sea at one side of the land is calm with no waves at all, while there are huge and rough sea waves on the other side of the land. According to Hindu mythology, it is said that the Lord Rama performed fast to see God to help them cross the sea, and is said that this is the reason sea is calm on this side. As per some satellite images, the proof of Rama Setu has also been found few years back. Being here at the beach gives you a peace feeling and bring memories of Ramayana to your mind about how Vanasena built the bridge across the sea and how they crossed the bridge to reach Sri Lanka. There is also a temple here where it is said that Vibhishan was found as a king by Lord Rama after he killed the Ravana. We will be visiting that temple during our return. But right now, let's enjoy the cool breeze of sea and the beach. Walking around, here you will find many seashells. So, if you are a seashell collector, then don't forget to carry some shells with you as souvenirs for your friends. Guys, 
Entry to this place is restricted in the evening after 5 pm. So be sure to return from this place before sunset time. You can spend around 30 minutes to 1 hour here as there is nothing much um, to see other than the beach. But spending time on the beach is truly a great experience. Now friends, we are returning to Kodanda Ramaswami temple. But here are the few remains of the ghost town which was destroyed during the cyclone. Few fishermen, our families are still staying but most of the village is empty. You can see the ruins at the back of these huts. Friends, we have reached the temple. You can also see Ramanatha Swami temple from here. Uh, let me try zooming my camera a bit. Yeah. That tall building you can see that is the Ramanatha Swami temple. Friends, this is the only temple where Vibhishna idol is placed with Lord Rama, Lakshmi, Sita and Manuman. We are not taking the camera inside the temple friends and so we have come to the end of this video. Do let us know your views with your valuable comments and don't forget to hit like or dislike and share our video with your family and friends. Thanks guys. Bye bye.